This is unit number six, construction and analysis of fund flow and cash flow statements. In the previous videos, we have already covered what is working capital, what is the need of working capital, how to determine working capital requirements, what are the sources of funds. In this video, we are going to see applications of funds, factors affecting fund requirements and analyzing changes in working capital. Let us jump to the topic. Uses or applications of funds. A business would require additional capital for two purposes. First one is financing additional fixed assets means for purchasing furniture, machinery and other big big items. Second, financing additional working capital means bringing money for running day to day operations of the business. The amount we have invested in the shop, furniture and fixtures which we have seen in the previous example already has created the facilities for carrying on the business. It also limits the capacity. We cannot expand our business beyond a certain capacity which is limited by the facilities created by the fixed assets. Whatever the fixed assets are there, that is the limit of our business. Beyond that, we cannot produce anything. In case of a manufacturing firm, this limit will be the plant capacity. In case of a transport undertaking, the limit will be the tons, how much tons the trucks available, how much tons the ships or wagons can carry. Whereas for airlines, how much seating capacity is there. So whatever fixed assets, whatever is their capacity, only to that extent we can produce goods or we can run business. Any increase in such capacity would require additional investment. Thus, investment in fixed assets is required to expand capacity or to improve the current operation. Okay, so fixed assets, increase in fixed assets is required when we want to expand the capacity of our business. Usually, addition to investments are judged on the basis of its ability to reduce the present costs or to increase the present output. Means we, if we want to increase the output of our business or if we want to reduce the costs of our business, then we can look for increasing investments in the fixed assets. Additional working capital is required to finance increased holding of inventory, increased credit to customers and increased cash holding requirements. We have seen in the previous chapters that working capital is the net of current assets and current liabilities. Essentially, it is the amount or the funds which are required for running the current operations of the business. Right. So the current operations are usually required for inventories, for giving credit to the customers, for doing credit sales, means selling goods now, taking money later from the customers and increased cash holding requirements means for regular cash expenses in the business. Obviously, current creditors would finance part of this requirement for working capital. Current creditors means those who have to pay money to the business. If Ramson's in the we are seeing this example Ramson's business, uh, if Ramson's invests in another shop or an expansion of the existing shop, they will require additional funds for investment in fixed assets as also for increased level of current assets, right? We could summarize the usual applications of funds as follows. So what are the uh, applications of funds? Acquisition of new non-current assets like machinery, plant, big furniture, all those things. Replacement of non-current debts. It is not replacement, it is repayment. Repayment of non-current debts or long-term loans. Even for paying, repaying them, uh, these debts also, funds is required. Payment of dividends. Increase in balance of working capital. <coughs> Sorry. So these are the <coughs> applications of funds. What are the uses of funds? In which areas funds may be used for paying dividends? Non operating losses not passed through profit and loss account, lo losses generally. Redemption of redeemable preference share capital. Repayment of debentures and bonds. These are the areas where funds are used. Funds are used to pay off. Repayment of long term loans, purchase of fixed assets, purchase of long term investment, increase in working capital. These are all self explanatory. Factors affecting fund requirements. Fund requirements vary within the nature and type of business. Different businesses require different funds, different kinds of funds, and at different times also. A firm that provides agency services may require less working capital compared to a firm which carries on business of merchandising. Merchandising means selling goods. The merchandising firm of course would require to carry some inventory, give credit and so on. 
so whichever business is doing selling <coughs> excuse me selling of goods it needs to maintain some stock some inventory and also whenever it is selling it's need to sell on credit means it ne- it should not uh, it need not uh, collect the money immediately from the customers so giving a credit is one aspect of business which increases faith in the business so generally businesses resort to credit sales similarly they also do credit purchases working capital requirements are directly influenced by sales volume how much turnover is there depending on that working capital is decided with every growth in sales volume we need to carry larger inventory increased number of customers or receivables as also operating expenses as sales is increasing volume of sales is increasing or the turnover is increasing we need to maintain uh, huge stocks of goods and also we need to give credit sales we need to increase the credit sales okay or sometimes we need to increase credit purchases also and also other operating expenses however we will have to finance some of these increases in other words by investing more funds we increase the volume of sales fund requirements for the business may be seasonal for example in industries using agricultural raw materials it may be more advantageous to procure raw materials during harvest season okay only during that period harvest period it needs to procure, procure the raw materials in other time it need not in case of a consumer retailing it may be necessary to hold large inventories during festive season so we are explain we are seeing different kinds of businesses where holding of goods or holding holding of stocks is necessary yet another important aspect which may condition fund requirement is the velocity of circulation of current assets how fast the current assets can be redeemed into cash in other words the length of the operating cycle will influence the need for funds length of the operating cycle means uh, is it like a quarterly half yearly yearly or monthly shorter the duration of operating cycle faster is the conversion of money invested in current assets into cash and hence lesser the need for net working capital if the duration of the business accounting is accounting is say for example 3 months quarterly then the current assets can be easily at the end of the uh, accounting period available current assets can be easily converted into cash and there will be lesser need for maintaining the working capital the credit terms extended by the suppliers will determine the amount of additional funds required credit terms means so some of the suppliers from whom we are bringing goods uh, if they allow us longer credit period means if they allow us to pay the amount Uh, for the goods that we have purchased it for a longer period then then also that aspect also uh, will determine the amount of funds that is required for running the business okay so credit sales uh, type of the business nature of the business sales volume and uh, operating cycle length of the operating cycle these are all the things which affect the uh, funds requirement requirements of the funds in a business okay see an example here a firm which carries a month's inventory and grants one month's credit to customers has to fund the inventory inventory cost of two months see this example a firm which carries a month's inventory means there is a stock for one month and grants one month's credit to customers means take for example this month is in february month uh, next month is march okay so it will maintain stock for the month of advance uh, advance month march and and it and grants one month credit to customers means if sale happened in the month of february it will not collect money in the month of february one month credit means after one month maybe in the march or at the end of the march it will collect the money it will not collect money from the customers in the present month it will give one month time to the customers so since it is not collecting money it has to purchase inventory for the month of february and also maintain stock for the month of march so it has to fund the inventory cost of two months two months it has to put from its own pocket the business has to put from its own pocket for funding the invest inventory if it could avail two months credit from the suppliers suppose if the suppliers are the persons from whom the business is getting the stock if they allow the company to pay after 2 months 
so for example someone is supplying goods to a business and says that you take goods for month of february and also for the march you pay at the end of the march okay two months credit is given then the need for holding inventory and funding receivables is nil so they are just bringing the goods and they are selling they are not putting uh, funds in the month of february so funding is nil in the month of february so uh, essentially what we have to understand is the credit purchases the credit sales stock of inventory these are all affecting the funds present in the business okay in another situation suppose if the firm carries a balance of 10000 of accounts payable means 10000 rupees the company has to pay in 30 days and an average accounts receivable means the company has to receive from the customer a balance of 15000 rupees in 45 days in 45 days it has to receive 15000 rupees and 30 days it has to pay 10000 rupees in this situation the firm will have to keep a net working capital for the difference of receipts from the customers and payments to the creditors so whatever is to be received from the customer and whatever is to be paid to the creditors this difference is to be kept as a working capital so if this is a situation how much it has to set aside as funds funds required to meet payables for 30 days is that 10000 Funds received from customers for 30 day, 45 days is for 30 days it will become 15,000 into so for 45 days it has to receive 15,000 for 30 days how much it will receive so simply 15,000 into 30 divided by 45 it will come to 10,000 so the funds required in for net to working capital will be zero right assuming the time taken for collection of receivables is 90 days it has to pay 10,000 in 30 days and it has to receive 15,000 in 90 days. in 30 days uh, in uh, 30 days how much it has to receive 15000 into 30 by 90 5000 so additional working capital is generated here it has to pay 10000 it has to it will receive uh, 5000 so funds required in the form of additional net working capital is 5000 so we could summarize the discussion in respect of the need for working capital by saying that the ability of the firm to circulate the cash into raw material and then into inventory and then work in progress from there to finished goods again inventory from their goods receivable again finally redemption into cash this is the most vital and important factor in determining the amount of working capital however the exact amount needed to be invested in all these will be determined by the period and quantum of holding of each of these elements okay so what we are essentially saying here is the credit purchases the credit sales the stock of inventory these are these are all the things which will affect the funds that are to be required for running the operations of the business now analyzing changes in the working capital in an understanding the financial statements of a company one of the first steps involved is the study of the changes in the current financial position of the company and the reasons for the changes we make an attempt at studying these changes and their causes by using the data contained in the summarized comparative balance sheet illustration 6.2 is given here uh, balance sheet on two dates is given on december 31st 2002 the data is given on december 31 2003 data is given we will compare this data and from this we will analyze the changes in the working capital changes in current assets minus current liabilities how working capital is changed okay right so just we will glance through the data that is given here current assets cash is a current asset accounts receivable the amount that is to be received from debtors loans and advances loan is an asset remember that short term loans i think these are all short term loans and advances current assets other current assets inventory so therefore total current assets fixed assets plant and equipment these are long term assets depreciation on fixed assets furniture and fixed fixtures at cost less depreciation from them intangible assets uh, like uh, technical assistance fee amortization amortization is for intangible assets whereas depreciation is for tangible assets see the liabilities current liabilities which are to be paid immediately acceptance it has to pay this uh, this much amount sundry creditors to whom the company has to pay advances against sales other liabilities interest accrued but not due on loans uh, interest accrued but not due so this is the accumulated interest which is yet to be paid right provisions taxation is there uh, dividend is to be paid bonus these are all the other things current liabilities and provisions total together 105 is there long term liabilities bank loans 
10.5 percent is debentures loans from financial institutions these are all the things and the, and the final thing is capital authorized capital uh, authorized share capital 5 lakh rupees issued and subscribed issued capitals or subscribed care capital share capital paid up capital is given reserves and surplus is given okay now we will say the from this data we will see what is the current assets what is the current liabilities what is the working capital so 180 minus 80 is the working capital as on december 31st 2002 232 minus 105 is the working capital as on 31st december 2003 so in one year working capital increased from 100 to 127 therefore increase in working capital is 27 rupees the 27 million rupees increase in working capital shows the composite changes in the operating asset this does not tell us much in terms of operations of the business we do not know exactly which or uh, what item has caused this increase whether there is an increase in current asset uh, or decrease in current liability or vice versa we have to see this change could be the net result of changes in all the accounts covered by the current items maybe there has been qualitative changes resulting from depletion of liquid items of current assets and increase in non liquid items such as inventory okay different possibilities may be there but we have to see the changes in the uh, fund flow statement or changes in the working capital statement of changes in working capital to understand what exactly has caused increase in this working capital of 27 million rupees a statement of changes in working capital helps us in locating where these changes took place in the first instance we try to show the increase okay there is an example is given uh, in this example uh, initially uh, it will show increase in current assets and then decrease in current liabilities likewise uh, like that uh, different different uh, cases are shown here the statement of changes in working capital for the example 6.1 shows that the increases in current assets amount to 52 million rupees where is this so on december 31st 2003 it was 232 rupees is the current assets december 31st 2002 180 rupees is the total of current assets means current assets increased by 52 rupees 52 million rupees current assets increased by 52 millions a major part of the increasing are cash receivables in inventory see here this is the increase the difference is major in inventory inventory is increased a lot from 1990 to 120 and accounts receivable increased from 20.28 to 30.25 11 point so significant increase observed in inventory accounts receivable and also cash okay total 52 decrease in working capital came about mostly from increased accounts payable advances and see the see here okay this is the current liabilities and provisions this is for december 2003 this is for december 2002 so 25 million rupees is increased current liabilities where is a significant increase significant increase observed in accounts payable 8.41 million advances against sales 6.5 million and uh, taxes payable 5.1 the total 25 million rupees is the increase in current liabilities 52 million rupees is the increase in current assets 25 million is the increase in current liabilities therefore the net working capital increase is 27 million that is what it is given here showing a net increase in current million in working capital is 27 million so this statement is necessary is required for us to understand which item in the current asset is significantly affecting the increase in working capital okay in the next video we will see funds flow statement right i hope you understand this you understood this topic what factors will affect working capital and how do we understand how do we assess the changes in working capital see you until the next video bye bye